The ambassador of Cuba's recent visit to Tampa is drawing anger among some members of the Cuban community and praise from others. Members of Casa Cuba angrily confronted the ambassador as she dined with local elected officials at a restaurant in Tampa. News Channel Ace Jeff Patterson spoke with several people involved in that visit. He is joining us now live in Ybor City. Jeff. Good evening, Keith. Well, this little slice of land here in Ybor City actually belongs to the Cuban government, and I'm told the Cuban ambassador actually came here to Ybor City. Now, some who were involved in that visit say it was helpful for an exchange of information, while others, including a man who was held prisoner in Cuba for 18 years, were angered that the ambassador was here. Look at the fugitives at the moment. You can hear the anger in Rafael Pisano's voice as he yells at the ambassador of Cuba in a Tampa restaurant. Former St. Petersburg Mayor Rick Kreisman is among those trying to defuse the situation. We appreciate it. But Pisano and his father Roberto, who was held in a Cuban jail for 18 years, press on. You don't feel it because you're going to have your wine and dinner, but my family's suffering in Cuba because of her. Today, Rafael Pisano told me he was deeply offended when he saw the ambassador. And when we found that, I mean, it was just complete shock. Considering Cuba's on an international list for state sponsors of terrorism, and that the voice in the face, the representative of the regime, was right here in Tampa, Florida, which is home to so many exiles from Cuba, Venezuela, and more, it, it was very unsettling. Today, Congresswoman Kathy Castor, who has visited Cuba to improve U.S.-Cuban relations, told us she doesn't think this visit was appropriate. The Cuban regime is repressive, and for the ambassador to come here and try to, to make nice is out of bounds. But Vincente Amor, a local businessman who is one of the people who helped facilitate the ambassador's visit, says it's important to keep dialogue open between the two countries. Cuba is part of the United Nations countries, and we have a relationship with them, uh, even if we have difference, because we have a 200-year relationship with Cuba. Almost everybody in this city has a grandpa, a grandma, a father, a mother that came from Cuba. I reached out to the Cuban embassy in Washington, D.C. for a comment on the ambassador's visit. We're still waiting for a reply, but people who were involved in setting up the ambassador's visit say it was approved by the U.S. Department of State. Live in Ybor, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.